بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ونس اگین ہیئر آئی ایم یور ٹیچر تنویر اختراوان ود دا سیکنڈ چیپٹر آف سوشل اسٹڈی دس چیپٹر از اباؤٹ دا کلائمیٹک ریجنس آف دا مسلم ورلڈ ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ان چیپٹر نمبر ون وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ واٹ از دا مسلم ورلڈ where it is located, what is its stretch, what are the main vegetations, main mountains and uh, main river valleys, what type of vegetation is found in the Muslim world and what is their importance. So in this chapter we are going to discuss about the climatic regions of the world. before moving to the regions first of all let's see what is weather and what is climate i'm sure that you remember and you know what is the weather and what is climate but just to revise it uh, once again i'm going to define the weather it is the atmospheric condition of a place condition of atmosphere you know what is atmosphere the air around the earth that is called atmosphere so the condition of atmosphere of a place for a short period of time is called weather another characteristics of weather is that it keeps on changing on daily basis so it really it keeps on changing early in the morning you get up oh my god it's quite very cloudy and after some time after one hour two hour or 30 minutes it's sunny it's very fine and then after some time there are clouds and the winds and there's a rain okay the weather is rainy sometime there are dust storms and we say it is dusty misty moisty and so on so the daily atmospheric condition of a place which keeps on changing so it is not permanent that is known as weather and as far as climate is concerned the average weather condition of a place oh sorry i have missed a ah, okay of a place for long time is called climate so if we calculate the average weather you know how to calculate the weather you can calculate the average daily average also you can calculate the weekly average the monthly average the yearly average you can calculate it very easily you know i think your teachers math teachers must have told you how to calculate the average for example we take the daily average we have to note after 1 hour or 2 hour for example okay after 2 hours we note the temperature suppose let's start early in the morning at 6 o'clock and then till next 6 we calculate and we see that in total uh, for 12 times we have noted the temperature so then we will add on all these temperatures and then we will divide on how many times we have noted for example 12 times so it will be divided on 12 so there will be average same is the case for weekly for example if we have noted for 7 days the temperature of directly so we can calculate the average so average weather condition of a place that is called climate and it remains throughout the year for example we say hot wet cold warm wet and moist and for example dehri we take the example of dehri if we calculate the average temperature average weather condition of dehri throughout the year so we find that most of the time it remains very warm so we can say the temp- the climate of dehri is warm and dry because there is hardly any rain very 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 little rainfall 
so it's dry and warm temperature warm climate is it clear here i hope that definition of weather and climate is clear you have studied in previous classes also this was just to remind i know you know the answer now coming to the climatic regions the new term what are the climatic regions so first of all we know that what are how these regions are made climatic regions means it refers to a continuous geographic area in which similar climatic characteristics are observed or are found a certain area which has similar climatic area large area which has which is having similar climate so we place these areas into one region they are having the same climatic like their temperature the amount of rainfall the speed and direction of winds etc so climate is the main factor so considering the climate different climatic regions of the world are formed are formed you have studied about that and in this book we are going to discuss the climatic regions of the muslim world only we are only concerned with the climatic regions of the muslim world we will discuss what climatic regions are found and which countries are located and in which areas in these regions are located so here are the climatic regions of the muslim world muslim countries they are divided into eight regions according to their climatic conditions so considering as i told you that climate is the main consideration remember this is not these are not the natural regions in natural regions other factors are also considered like physical features etc and climate is also one part so here the climate is the main consideration while dividing the muslim world into different climatic regions so these regions are eight all together and these include number 1 deserts number 2 semi deserts they are not like hot desert they are semi desert we have studied in chapter 1 so they are having desert like characteristics but they are having more rainfall as compared to deserts and more vegetation then number 3 tropical grasslands we will discuss that these are the huge fields of grassland and then tropical forest there are areas which are having thick forest tropical forest and then temperate deserts they are the cold deserts we will study in which part of the muslim world they are located and what are their characteristics in the coming slide you will study about that and these are also mentioned in your book so my dear students uh, you have to go through the books also and uh, all the important things i have highlighted and you have to once again go through it and highlight in your books and mark in mark in your book well so number 5 uh, is the temperate deserts number 6 mediterranean region a special type of climate in those countries which are found around the mediterranean sea in the coming slide i'll tell you the location of mediterranean sea and the country surrounding it uh, with the help of map number 7 the climatic region is that is temperate grassland there are tropical grassland and there are temperate grassland in found in the temperate region you have studied in class 3 or 4 you know different region equatorial or trop region tropical region and temperate region and then tundra region okay or polar region so these are the temperate grassland so they are located in between uh, 22.2 to 60 degree latitudes these regions are called temperate regions and then a special type of region that is the monsoon or region which experience monsoon winds and rainfall so these are the eight climatic regions desert semi desert tropical grassland tropical forest temperate deserts mediterranean region temperate grassland and monsoon region
well now in the coming slides we will discuss one by one all these regions but what will be the main focus of our discussion what we have to learn what we have to study what we have to understand while discussing or reading these that their temperature what kind of temperature they are having it's very harsh hot warm wet whatever it is and then amount of rainfall what kind of vegetation and animals they are having and uh, what is the agriculture what type of forest and minerals and other things which are found the main characteristics of these so these will be the main points of our discussion for each region is it clear okay well next move to the deserts right as i discussed uh, i have told you earlier that the muslim world seems to have been allotted more than its share of deserts almost 3 quarters of all the major deserts in the world how much 3 quarter of the whole deserts in the world they are in the muslim countries and these are the sahara in africa which makes up 60% of the total desert area in the world the sahara itself that makes up 60% of the total desert area of the world and then there are other deserts also like the third desert you know that is in pakistan along with the third there are other deserts also like haran desert thal desert cholistan desert that is a part of great rajasthan desert in fact so thar that is very famous and then somali desert in somalia in africa and then kedalkum in uzbekistan so that is a desert area and dashtelut in iran and rubal khali in saudi arabia so these deserts are located as i told you that uh, almighty allah has blessed uh the muslim world with more deserts and uh, you might be thinking that okay so this is a blessing of almighty allah you can see the black gold mostly that is taken out from these deserts and they are situated in the muslim world i am talking about the crude oil great and most more valuable source of energy and for industries also for making more than 100 products well so uh what type of natural vegetation so these countries are poor in natural vegetation of course they are hard deserts and uh, there is hardly and very little vegetation in these deserts but these deserts as i have told you they are having valuable mineral oil and natural gas resources they are found in abundance in these countries uh examples are in front of you that saudi arabia the gulf states iran pakistan one of the leading gas producer in the muslim world there are other states also in these desert areas which are producing oil nearly about 40% of the world oil that is being produced in the gulf states gulf states those states which are surrounding or which are situated around the persian gulf you can see on the map the persian gulf and the country surrounding it and from persian gulf is it enters to the arabian sea where we are having our very famous gwadar port and from here it is being transported to the rest of the world so you have seen you have uh, listened the names of the desert which are found Uh, here is a picture you can see the sand dunes and the nomadic people okay traveling ship of the desert traveling on ship of the desert i mean camel and uh, these people you know they often move from one place to another the climate is very harsh only tough plants like cactus acacia etc they can grow uh, in these areas There's very little vegetation, and population is not very dense in these countries. 
so sahara desert the african countries the middle east countries they are situated in this region in this climatic region here you can you have seen the picture now uh, the second climate region that is the semi desert and scrub lands they are not like hot deserts they are semi desert it means they get a bit more rainfall as compared to desert they are having uh, desert like characteristics sand is there dunes are there but there is a little more vegetation as compared to uh, the hot deserts and of course uh, that is not very thick okay here uh, in semi desert regions uh, there is a very occasional rainfall as i told you and uh, that is uh, not enough to grow crops and uh, the these deserts are very hot during the day and they become cool at night rainfall as told you very little and vegetation coarse tough plants and shrubs they grow in these deserts these plants have long roots to go deep down to get water from below the surface because i told you that uh, although it gets late rain but that is not very frequent so there is a scarcity of water so the plants of these uh, the roots of these plants they go deep and they spend over a long distance so that they can absorb maximum moisture from the surface of the earth the occupation people rear goats and sheep and the wool from the sheep in pakistan is good for making carpets and the western parts of pakistan are semi deserts as i told you thar and thal they are the desert areas the these sort of semi desert areas are also found in balochistan in uh, afghanistan and uh, in central asia also here is a picture of semi desert and scrub land these are few bushes you can say and these are scrubs in the background you can see picture and it is having desert like characteristics but a bit having more plants or vegetation as compared to deserts okay let's move to the next one and that is the tropical grasslands which are also known as savanna the vast grasslands the plains of grass they are called savanna so location where they are tropical grassland they lie between the deserts and the tropical forests most of them are in southern hemisphere in africa and south america that is their location so as far as rainfall is concerned of course they get more rainfall as compared to semi deserts and deserts 500 to 1500 mm so vegetation there are scattered trees not very dense trees are thick forest the trees are there but they are scattered not too dense not too thick and that's why they got their name that they are tall grass which is good for animal animal or cattle rearing and wildlife so animals game animals in africa for example lions giraffes zebras elephants etc these are found these are very common and safaris are tourist attraction the people all around the world they go to africa to have a safari tour a safari visit to see the animals uh, just going into these these uh, lands have been declared as national parks thousands of kilometer wide hundreds of kilometer wide and animals they are freely move and the people the tourists they see these animals get the pictures so there is a tourist attractions these sort of animals the wild animals 
they are found these grasslands are home to these animals okay uh, as far as pakistan once these sort of uh, grasslands were also found here in pakistan but uh, these lands have been cleared and with the extensive irrigation as i mentioned in the previous class class also previous chapter also that now we are growing crops in these areas so grasslands have been changed into lush green agricultural crops areas in pakistan here you can see the picture i just i have uh, pasted it for you you can see the loins resting in the huge loss long grass on national geographic you must have been watching uh, these animals just roaming in the in these grasslands in africa in brazil and in other countries of central uh, of south africa so these are being found there well then comes the tropical forests very important forest location uh, remember these uh, grasslands are also found in other country i'm talking only about the muslim world so these tropical forests are found uh, in the central african muslim countries along the equator and south east asian countries we know what are the south east asian countries the malaysia indonesia and brunei these are the south east asian countries and uh, they are having a very in previous chapter i have shown you the slide lush green and thick forest are being found rather trees are so dense and so tall that it is very difficult to cut them because they make a canopy like structure they are so tall and you know their 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 branches are intermingling or mixing with either well so there is a heavy rainfall uh, between 1800 to 2500 mm or even more the reason i have explained already in the previous uh, you know lecture and that is they are situated along the equator which gets plenty of sunshine there is a lot of evaporation the water evaporates it uh, rises up goes into the atmosphere and it condenses and then it pours down form of rain so warm and moist temperature suitable for the growth of uh, plants and uh, that's why these thick forests are found here temperature that average temperature is 20 to 30 degrees celsius throughout the year vegetation thick forest of all tall trees with giant creepers the creepers you know different varieties of creepers are being found and hardly i think in these forests there is any tree that with is which are without any creepers and you know why creepers they go top on the top of these trees to get these forests are so dense and thick that beneath these trees there's a darkness so these creepers these parasites you know sometimes they creep upward to reach or to get maximum light and sunshine animals birds monkeys uh, on the top of these trees trees you know, i told you that canopies are being formed snakes lizards and insects there are variety of you know insects and different animals that is being found in these tropical or in forests and there are certain species uh, in these which yet to be named so forest products what type of wood that is found there the teak the best teak that is being found the other hardwood trees rubber and then because of plenty of sunshine and water these are also good for certain crops like sugarcane cocoa mangoes pineapples and other tropical fruits okay so these forest as i told you these are beneficial very very beneficial for the human being but at the same time they also pose certain threats to the human life so as along with the timber and tropical fruits and rubber they also provide oxygen but at the same time as i told you that many kind of insects are also dwelling uh, are found in these forest and they are not healthy for human life and these forests are known for malaria also 
and uh, then traveling in these forest that is also quite difficult uh, so even to make roads or to clear the land for agriculture that is very difficult so these are the problems disadvantages you can say that uh, which these uh, forests are having along with the advantages okay here uh, you can see the picture of the tropical forest very very long trees and thick vegetation you know they have made a canopy like structure they are so close to one another they have made a canopy so these are thick forests uh, well let's move to the next slide and then coming to the temperate deserts these temperate deserts they are found in afghanistan central asian states like uzbekistan azerbaijan turkmenistan tajikistan kazakhstan but these are called central asian states once they were part of ussr but after the breakup of ussr the union of soviet socialist republics only the shias left and they got independence after 90 and now they are independent muslim countries and some parts of pakistan uh, these temperate deserts are found rainfall that is 50 to uh, 300 mm they are not as hot as the deserts they are temperate a moderate one right they are not uh, too hot vegetation acacia and acacia and other coarse course means the tough plants and grasses the hardwood trees and grasses they are found in these deserts the crops agriculture these are dry lands but crops are produced by irrigation and fertilizers as you can see in pakistan yes as i have told you that many of the deserts even they have been changed into lush green area because of the fertilizer and irrigation system uzbekistan that is the uh, main the country having the temperate desert area in central asia among the muslim countries and that uzbekistan is the largest cotton growing state in the world and uses water from the caspian sea for irrigation and pakistan as i have told you it is also an agricultural country here you can see the temperate deserts so you can see very beautiful landscape and uh, although they are uh, having desert like character but they are not too hot and having good vegetation also because of the amount of rainfall in these deserts well mediterranean climate okay uh, dear so you can see the map before described in the characteristics of this region i thought it will be appropriate first of all you should know where this region is located and why it is called mediterranean region and which countries are included in this region uh, on your map you can see that uh, the african country north african country egypt i can uh, think you can see uh, also on your book also the political map given in the first chapter egypt libya algeria morocco these are north african country tunisia and to the north of this north africa north african country you can see mark with blue color there is a sea and this sea is known as mediterranean sea bahirae room in urdu we call it and towards the north of this mediterranean sea there is a continent of europe and towards the eastern side of this mediterranean sea you see the countries of middle east turkey and even the egypt 
that is seen. So this region is known as the Mediterranean region because it is having a special type of climate and the countries which are surrounding this Mediterranean Sea, they experience a special type of climate and this climate is known as Mediterranean climate. The Muslim countries I told you that is Turkey is there, Egypt is there, in the parts of Libya, not the whole country, okay, the surrounding areas, you know, they experience it. Then Tunisia, of course, and the northern part of Algeria and Morocco, the parts of Turkey, uh, they experience the climate and that climate is known as Mediterranean climate. In Europe, you can see the Greece is there, then Greece, Italy is there, France is there, Spain, which remain under the Muslim power for many centuries. So the parts of these countries, they experience this climate and this, which is known as Mediterranean climate. Now the main characteristics, location around the shores of Mediterranean Sea, the coastal areas of Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Syria, Turkey and Lebanon. As I told you, not the whole country, only the coastal areas, they experience a special some sort of climate, that climate is known as the Mediterranean climate. So why Mediterranean? These countries are located around the Mediterranean Sea. Agricultural products, what is the main agriculture? One of the most productive climate in the world, this Mediterranean climate. This area produces high value crops for markets of Western Europe. Since centuries, the crops were produced here and they were transported to the European countries. It is a large cotton growing base. Egyptian cotton is highly prized for its, it means that is given high value uh, international market because of its long staple fiber. Its fiber is very long and very fine. So which is considered very good for making different products from cotton. The fruit, this area is known for the production of fruits, variety of fruits, the grapes, citrus fruits, olives, all those, these countries are surrounding this area, they are known for the production of olives and different kinds of flowers, they are being produced here and they are exported to other countries also. One part of Pakistan that is also known for fruits, although it is not included in the Mediterranean region, but, but it also gets rainfall which comes we will talk inshallah in the next chapter also which comes from the mediterranean sea uh, the winds which bring winter monsoon into pakistan and the Pakistan area these winds starts blowing from mediterranean sea and these these are known as westerly winds or western winds or western depression so although Pakistan is not part of mediterranean but it is famous for the production of variety of fruits in pakistan well, uh, now, here you can see uh, what I have discussed with you, the next temperate grasslands. There are temperate grasslands also, location Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, parts of Jordan, Iraq and Pakistan, the temperate grasslands are found. Rainfall that is not very high, about 400 millimeter per year. The temperature are reasonably warm, excellent for rearing of cattle. Vegetation that is long grass, excellent for cattle breeding. Crops the like wheat, barley and these sort of crops, gram, different kind of pulses they are being grown in these grasslands. And I have told you that most of these areas have been turned into lush green because of the irrigation system. Here you can see the temperate grasslands here. Uh, in many Muslim countries I have just named on the previous slide, you can see in different animals are found. Unfortunately, because of illegal hunting in Pakistan, illegal hunting, uh, we you know we have put many species of these wild animals into danger 
So these beautiful deer you can see in the horses and the mules they are rearing. Okay, and uh, well, dear, now the monsoon region. Where this region, only the subcontinent and Southeast Asian country of Malaysia and Indonesia, they are located in this region. Although other countries are also there, but I am talking only about the Muslim countries. Pakistan, yes, of course, Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, though not a Muslim country, but that is included in Malaysia and Indonesia. These are included in this monsoon region. The direction of wind is from northeast to six months and southwest for the rest of the year. The southerly winds, the winds which come from the south of Pakistan, just consider the map of Pakistan. The winds bring heavy rainfall because these winds are coming. What is in the south of Pakistan? That is the Arabian Sea. So these winds come from the sea and uh, they cause heavy rainfall in Pakistan, in India and many other countries also. Vegetation because of the rainfall, the vegetation is very thick. You know, in the Malaysia, Indonesia, there are rainforests and in Pakistan, the north of Pakistan gets plenty of rainfall. That's why there are thick forests and very good vegetation in the northern areas of Pakistan. Well, most importantly, Pakistan and the monsoon wind. I'm especially focused on this because uh, in the senior classes, inshallah, in class uh, 8, 9, also you will talk, you will study about it. So I want to make your concept clear. Okay, the monsoon season, although there are only four seasons, that is the autumn, spring, winter, and summer. There's a fifth season, and it's a part of summer season, and starts from July and, and, and goes up to September. So from July to September, there is a rainfall mostly in Pakistan, the north of Pakistan. But Pakistan receives less rainfall because the rain clouds cross India first. It means that these, in the next uh, slide, I'm going to show you the map also, how these, the, what is the direction of wind and how these winds move from Arabian Sea and comes to the uh, India and Pakistan. So they shed most of the rain in India and when these winds reach Pakistan only there's a little rainfall uh, only rain is left in them and uh, Pakistan also gets as I told you in the previous slide uh, rainfall in December January February March in it means in winter that is because of the westerly depression the winds coming from the west from Mediterranean Sea crossing to Turkey Iran and then reach to Pakistan and they cause rainfall and snowfall in Kota Balochistan and some parts of Punjab and Sindh North area so most of the rain in Pakistan that gets that in the month of July to September because of the summer monsoon so in the next map you can see here uh, is the map and that map indicates, you can see in this map, that to the south of Pakistan and to the India, there's Arabian Sea. And to the southeast of uh, India is the Bay of Bengal. So what happens during the summer season, the plains of India and Pakistan, or we can say South Asia, they get plenty of sunshine and they become extremely warm. So because of high temperature, the air pressure you know that becomes low and the air rises up air gets warmer and it rises up it creates a huge vacuum at the same time over the sea the temperature is very low as compared to land and the air pressure is very high so what happens when this vacuum is created during the summer extreme summer in the plains of india and pakistan to fill this vacuum, the winds from low temperature starts moving towards the plains, toward the hot area to fill that vacuum. As these winds are coming from the sea, they are carrying moisture. But when they enter, you know, these winds, first of all, you can see first enter India as uh, it is indicated also in the map. The arrows show the direction of wind. They enter India from south and goes upward to the north. 
but when they enter into the plane area these bands also get warmer and lighter and further they rise up but as i told you they are carrying moisture when they rise up they condense and when they condense so what happens they can't hold the moisture and because of condensation that air vapor they turned uh, the air which is carrying moisture that turned into vapors and uh, they can't hold the weight of these droplets and the rain pours so first they cross india and drop much of the rain there and when they reach pakistan only little rain is left in them but in spite of that pakistan the north of pakistan like the upper part of punjab and uh, the nwfp in the northern area they get plenty of rainfall during the months of july and nowadays this uh, monsoon uh, has started in pakistan this is first or second spell in pakistan well dear now uh, close to the activity what you have to do you have to identify muslim countries which have similar climate and make a complete list in your notebook name a muslim countries which are having similar climate you can also take the help from the chapter number 1 also then find out the location of four deserts where these deserts are located i have explained here in the slides also once again you can consult your book and the references on wikipedia and uh, google also well question answers others are activities only few questions are given here question number 1 the answers might be the monsoons are important for south and southeast in asia because they bring heavy rainfall which is beneficial for grain crops also the places which receive rain from the monsoon have thick rich vegetation the answer of question number 2 pakistan gets its monsoon rain i have just explained in previous slide from the winds that come in from the southeast these winds reach pakistan after crossing india where they have already shed a uh, drop much of the rain only the north of the country gets real monsoon rainfall well advantages and disadvantages of tropical rainforest advantages what are the advantages you can write in points number forest supply timber especially valuable wood then they refresh the atmosphere by providing oxygen and uh, they also protect the soil from erosion and the wild animals are found here there different kinds of plants and flowers fruits are found there okay uh you have to write on the in points also and then disadvantages i also discussed they are unhealthy because of heat and humidity the endangered diseases such as malaria and uh, when declared uh, it is very difficult to clear these forests for crops the soil which is of limited fertility is soon exhausted and more areas have to be felled well answer question number 5 the countries advantages of grasslands so countries that have temperate grasslands are excellent for rearing of animals especially the livestock the climate here is suitable for cereal crops cereal crops mean uh, the crops which are used uh, by we people like wheat etc so and uh, with irrigation a wide variety of other plants and fruits can be grown then difference between the climate of indonesia and pakistan question number 6 pakistan has a wide variety of climatic regions hot and cold deserts scrub and semi deserts monsoon vegetation and humidity the vegetation found in pakistan is more wide ranging and indonesia has a tropical monsoon climate the vegetation is in indonesia is dense and uh, perennial and yani throughout the year you know that remain the same a typical of monsoon origin thank you dear thank you very much so nice of you see you in your next next period also thank you once again assalam alaikum